In this video, I will be showing you everything that you need to know in order to buy cryptocurrency on KuCoin. I'll be walking you through this entire process over the shoulder step by step. So if you follow along by the end of this video, you will be able to buy cryptocurrency on KuCoin. If you do not yet have a KuCoin account, I will leave a link down in the description where you can go ahead and sign up with that link and get 20% of all of your trading fees. Alternatively, if you want me to walk you through that entire process, show you how to set up and secure your account alongside everything else that goes with it, I will also leave a link to the tutorial that I created on how to create and set up your account. But to go ahead and dive straight into the video, let's go ahead and start buying cryptocurrency with KuCoin. So if you just go ahead and sign into the KuCoin exchange, they make it pretty easy in that you can go to this top left corner where it says buy crypto. Now they have four different options here. I would say these are all usable apart from this one, the P2P. Um, it's just not very good right now. Maybe it will get better in the future, but right now there's just not enough people using this to make it an actual thing that you can use. For example, if we go to Bitcoin right here, we can see there's only one person who's currently selling Bitcoin P2P and like it's way, way, way overpriced. Like it's currently 33,000 US dollars. And if I just go over to CoinMarketCap to check the actual price of Bitcoin, you can see it's worth 30,000. So you'd be paying like 3,000 over what it's worth. It's the same for Ethereum. You can see that there's nobody even trading Ethereum right now. Uh, so overall, it's just not worth it. Even with USDT, which is literally pegged to the US dollar. As you can see, USDT is literally worth $1 and people are selling this for higher than what it's worth. So with that being said, you can use all of these. I just really wouldn't recommend using this P2P. So going into all of these options, we first of all have fast trade. Now this is very cool and you can buy crypto with like one click. The only downside to this menu is you are very limited with what coins you can buy. So as you can see, there's like 10 to 15 coins here that you can buy. So that is the only downside to this. With this being said though, if you do want to buy one of these coins like Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, Dogecoin, anything that you can see here, it is very, very easy. So for example, I would just select Bitcoin and then what do I want to spend? This is where you can go ahead and choose your currency. So I could search for like USD and then add that in there. And then all I have to do from here is where I say I want to spend, just enter in how much you want to spend. So $100 and you can see how much you will receive. So once again, I could just change this to Ethereum. You can see that that will update. And if I spend $100, I will receive 0 0.5 Ethereum. You can then go down to here to pay with and then choose like how you want to pay. So you can enter like a debit or credit card. Now for certain coins as well, I know this is the case with uh, Bitcoin. You can also buy with like different cards. So as you can see, I can now buy with like TransferWise, Perfect Money, uh, but this only really works with Bitcoin and not Ethereum. So as I said, there's like a few different ways to go about it, but just realize that with this fast trade menu, the main thing that you are going to be paying with is like a Visa or MasterCard, where you can also pay with TransferWise and other things if the coin allows it. Once you have made your selection, you would just go ahead and click buy BTC. And then it's going to go ahead and ask for your card information. So you just input that, click on next, and then you can go through and buy your coin. So that is the fast trade menu. We then have third party right here. And I personally prefer this method. Like you can use the, um, the Visa and MasterCard right here. I have personally run into a few issues with this. It is possible people have done it, but I personally don't like going about it this way. When I'm actually depositing my own money onto KuCoin, I do prefer going with this third party option. So once again, in third party, it's pretty similar. So you select your payment method first of all, we have either Apple Pay or bank transfer, and then you just go ahead and enter in the amount you would like to spend, as well as selecting your currency right here. So I'm just going to go for 100 USD and then we can choose what coin you want to buy. Now on here, and this is another reason why I really love using this menu is because we get a lot more options. As you can see on the fast trade menu, we had like 10, 15 coins. On here, this is pretty much every single coin that you can buy on KuCoin. So for example, let's say that I want to buy the cake token right here. 
I would just go ahead and select the token, select how I want to pay, and then this payment channel is super important. So you can see that the method that I go through, whether I go through Simplex or Banksub, it affects the conversion rate. So if I go for Simplex, you can see I will receive 84 cake token, but Banksub, I only receive 80. Let me actually just go back to Bitcoin right here so we can do bank transfer as well. And then with the bank transfer option, you can see that we only have one payment channel. So it might actually be worth like weighing these up. Simplex, I get 0 0.0031. Banksub, 0 0.0030. And then bank transfer is 0 0.0032. So bank transfer is actually the best method here in terms of conversion rate, but not super, super important. It's not like you will be losing out on a lot of money. However, it is just worth checking this out, going through these and seeing which one is going to give you the best conversion rate. Once you have selected how much you want to spend, the coin that you would like to buy, and also the payment method, all we then have to do is click on confirm right here. And then it will take us through to whichever, like as you can see, this is simplex. It will take us through here where we can go ahead and make the purchase. So that is the first two options. And then we also have the fiat deposit option. So in here, I can just go ahead and deposit fiat, select my currency. So I will go for USD once again. And then you can see we have the option for wire transfer international or wire transfer domestic. So just select whichever one you want to go for. And then right here, you can see the payment details. So all you would do is just like making a regular bank transfer, you would go ahead and enter like the account name, the account number, and this is going to send the money over to KuCoin. And the reason that they know to actually deposit it into your account specifically is by this deposit reference. So super important that you get this right. Um, and then based on this reference, that's how they know when the money arrives at KuCoin, okay, it is this person who we need to credit that to. So that is all of the buy options right there. Now, when you actually make your purchase and you have bought your cryptocurrency, it will then appear in your wallet. So you just go over to your wallet. You can go to your assets and view all of the assets that you have or the assets that you just bought. And that is how you can buy cryptocurrency on KuCoin. Now, if you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.